Hey there, it's David H. Lawrence, the 17th, and I've got one last tip uh, about the, uh, the art of networking, if you will. When you go to meetups or when you go to networking events or if you go to workshops or places where you're going to meet people that maybe would be interesting to know, would be useful to know, would be people you could sell to or people that could help you with your business or people that you just want to get to know better. Um, and we went through a whole bunch of things in that Moo article that I that I linked to in some previous videos. But there's one last thing. Uh, I got an email from somebody going, what do you say when somebody says, what do you do? And you're at one of those events where everybody knows what you do or not. And I have two answers for that. And maybe they'd be helpful to you. We have sort of this built-in uh, conversation starter because we're performers, right? If somebody says, what do you do? And I say, I'm an actor you know that that starts a conversation. Now, if you're at an event where everybody's an actor, instead of that, what I might say is, I'm an actor, but I help VO performers become VO heroes. And resist the urge to say anything else after that. Just let it hang there. It's called an open loop. People want to know, what, what do you mean, VO heroes? What does that mean? Right? And you can adapt this to what you do. It sparks the conversation if you don't blow all of your information onto somebody all at once. Just start with a very simple one-sentence statement that says what you do. As a VO performer, you could say, I'm a voiceover talent and I solve my clients' problems. Still, that's a massively cool statement, but it doesn't over detail the answer because, oh, really? How do you do that? That's the next natural question. It's what happens to me when I say, I help turn VO performers into VO heroes. How do you do that? And then I get to talk about VO heroes. And But but the other thing is, I get to talk about them, especially if I'm at an event, at an event where we're all in the business, right? So no matter what you do, what you want to do is come up not with an elevator pitch, that's what a lot of people talk about. How do you describe what you do in the amount of time it takes to go from the third floor to the fourth floor in an elevator, which is only, you know, 30 seconds or so. It's not even that in some cases. Um, but you got to be even quicker than that. You want to be even quicker than that. You want to be respectful of the time of the person that you're talking to. And you also want to make it just a tiny bit provocative. You know, you want to make it something that sparks interest, that piques curiosity, that says, really? You're, wow. Or just saying something as simple as, I narrate audiobooks. Again, if you're not at an event where everybody is an audiobook narrator, right? If I was in an event where everybody was an audiobook narrator, I might say, I turn audiobook narrators into audiobook narrator heroes. Just, again, the kind of thing that doesn't say too much. It's very clear about what it is. I'm a coach. And uh, if it's not clear, it generates a question or a comment or a what? Wow, that's really cool. How does that work? Um, nobody is going to say to you, really? <laughs> Seriously, that's what you do? Okay, thanks. And then move on to somebody else. That's not going to happen, so don't worry about that. But I wanted to talk to you about this whole idea of what do you, what do you offer when somebody does say, what do you do? I wanted you to have something in your back pocket. And it's something that's worth... Uh, practicing, rehearsing, doing it to the mirror and doing it in a way where you don't feel kind of embarrassed to say it. Because the first time you say it, it's going to take some gumption. It's going to take some effort. It really is. Because we have this natural self-effacing thing where it's like, oh gosh, I'm an actor, <laughs> you know, or whatever it is. Uh, but to be able to say something even above that, to say, like, what I used to say was, I, I'm a creepy, evil villain. And that took me a while to do. But when I was on Heroes and when I was playing villains on, uh, when I do play villains on other shows, and people ask me that, that pops into my head. You know, I'm a creepy, evil villain. That's the kind of thing that, wait, 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 what? You're what? You know, and then that sparks conversation. It's not about trying to be the center of attention. It's simply about saying what you do with pride and doing so in a way that generates conversation doesn't stop conversation in the middle of its progress. I hope that makes sense. 
Let me know in the comments below if this is confusing or if this is crystal clear or somewhere in between. Maybe you've got some great positioning statements that you could share with people. I would love to hear them. What do you say when people ask, what do you do? I want to know. I want to know. If you want to be on my list so you know when these videos come out, please, there's a box down at the bottom of the page that says get on the list if you're watching on VOHeroes.com. And again, I'd love your comments. I'd love to know what you think about these videos and what we're doing, and this one in particular below the video. All right, I'm David H. Lawrence, the 17th. I thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you tomorrow.